After this seconds to go, and it's about uh, this question is about some of your friends who are cross dressers. And I say your friends because people, <laughs> I see how people ask you questions about cross dressing and these moral issues that are becoming a major problem uh, in Nigeria. How is the police reacting to those kind of situations? Well, Shio, there, there are some cases that are always very difficult to prove. Uh, fine, I'm not really out the fact that we have many of them. But if you, for instance, you want to prove a case of rape, rape has points to prove. If any one of those points is missing, you may lose your case in court. Let us be reasonable. You can't arrest somebody you want to prosecute without having credible evidence against such a person. Cross-dressing is not a crime yet in Nigeria. I don't think so because I've not read anywhere it's, it's an offense per se. But those, some of them that are into cross-dressing, the allegation is that they are into something else, unnatural offenses. Mm -hmm. That's where the problem lies. We need to actually have enough proof, credible evidence, to prove that they're actually into that. That all those offenses are natural offenses in Nigeria and they're punishable under our law. So, so they, must have, be, they must be careful how they how they be if it is proud that it's not a, a crime in Nigeria, fine you want to do that, you want to enjoy your liberty. But if you're into something else that is criminal or natural offenses, many other people have been saying that, but let's have enough evidence to nail an individual is a that dirty thing. The law will take its course. All right.